uh, hello so welcome to this video and today we are going to look at attention which is used in natural language processing a lot so there are really three types of um, attention and the first one is an encoder and a decoder um, attention which is usually used in machine translation let's say from English to German or German to English so let's see you're actually translating from german to english and you let's see you're generating i uh, attention tells you for i how much attention should you pay to the first german translation while training how much attention should you pay to this uh, german word and also how much attention should you pay to, to this german word and the sum is one by the way so this is like the first type of attention and the second type of attention which is uh, what we are actually going to look at is the self-attention, like the uh, the causal attention also, usually used in generating sentence summaries. So words in a sentence only look at the previous words. For, for I, in this example, I love NLP, it will only look at itself. Love will also at, will uh, only attend itself and also I, the previous words. So I will pay full attention to itself love pays this much attention to i this much attention to love and we also have a bi-directional self-attention which is used in sorry used in birth and t5 and um, what can all like in self-attention what can look at future uh, future words so what we are actually going to look at today is the self-attention and one-headed self-attention one head self-attention or let me put it that way um so attention in the paper attention is all you need is governed by this formula this formula and before we continue let's write uh, we, we are going to take a simple example let's see how attention is calculated so let's see we have is an example i love nlp so let's write uh, the information our, of our application sequence length is this is l is three let's say we use an embedding dimension of embedding d of two yep so for let's take a simple ex uh, example and calculate attention for just one head so uh, first we need to put this word words into an embedding layer and when you do that you can end up with something like this the dimension is sequence length by embedding dimension M, which is uh, 3 by 2 we also need positional encoding sorry I wrote positional embedding but this is actually positional encoding and its dimension is the same as this 3 by 2 sequence length let, let me replace um, sequence length by S and uh, embedding dimension as E to simplify things. So this is S by E dimension. And we I didn't put the batch dimension because we have one batch just to simplify things. Next, uh, we need to add this embedding output and then the position I encoding and the dimension is s by e which is 3 by 2 all right so this i'm going to take it i'll remove this okay so if you can remember from the formula we need to calculate cos something uh we need to calculate uh query key and value and um, from the formula let me we need to calculate uh, query key and value so from this what we are going to do we are going to take this 
and this is uh, we are going to take this um, put it into a neural network take this here and put it into the second neural network and put this and um, put it into the third neural network input dimension of this first neural network the neural network 1 2 and 3 input dimension is um actually e and um, output dimension is also e for this neural network also for this input dimension is e and output dimension is e so let's say the, this neural network gave us an output of this and this one gave us an output of uh sorry not key i'm sorry for that please query um key and value let's see let's put it this way okay so let's call the output of this neural network q call this one key k call this one value v and the dimension is s by e s by e and also s by e all right so next we have calculate let's calculate query times k transpose we can quickly do that something let's call it energies and we also need to find the square root of the embedding dimension this d this is d by the way it is the square root of the embedding dimension embedding dimension is 2 and also we need to add this after computing this we need to add a mask because we do not want words to attend future words a mask is something like this anything below the below diagonal is zero anything above diagonal is negative very large number we do this because soft marks of um of ne negative numbers is usually zero large negative numbers so we need to add the mass or also divide by the square root of the embedded dimension the uh, dimension of this is s by e this is also put it s by e okay so this is the output oops <laughs> sorry for that this is the output and this we have um, added the mask and also the divide by this d and its dimension is s by e all right so next from the formula if we can remember we need to apply a softmax function then multiply by v v is like this output of this third neural network okay so i'm going to take this one away get a new paper as i said take this apply a soft apply a, take this apply a soft max soft max and we got we can get something like this i've already written the output its dimension is s by e okay so this is actually for the word i this is for the word love and this is for the word nlp and it means that and also i love nlp so usually the dimension of this is actually not this i'm sorry let me cancel this it is usually s by s so i can only attend itself and i can only attend itself so the, uh, this is the amount of attention i can uh, should pay to itself it cannot pay attention to future words that's why we actually added uh, a masking and love can 
uh, pay this much attention to I, pay this much attention to love itself, and this is zero because it cannot attend future words, which is NLP. Finally, this is the soft max. We need to multiply by V, which was this. And put it this way. Multiply them. And we are going to get a result. This. And the dimension is usually S by E. Usually dimension this output. The, the dimension of this output is the same as the input. So uh, right now we can take this and put it into further layers, maybe a, another fully connected layer to pre further process the data in, other, in another neural network. So right now this output of um, I love NLP has much more context to it. These words um, know how much, um, how much uh, attention they should pay i mean after multiplying by the attention that we calculated here now this is called a context vector and each word notes each word knows um, how much kind of related to other words um thank you so uh, this is it